Conquering phonemes, nailing English pronunciation. Hello learners around the globe. We're here today to embark on an exciting journey into the world of English pronunciation. Specifically, we'll dive into an often overlooked area, common phoneme errors. Don't worry if this term sounds alien to you right now, we're going to demystify it together. Understanding these errors can significantly improve your pronunciation and accent reduction, making you sound more like a native English speaker. Before we delve into the errors, let's understand what we're dealing with. A phoneme is the smallest unit of sound in a language that can change the meaning of a word. For example, changing the initial sound of the word bat to cat changes its meaning completely. These sounds, B and C, are different phonemes. Now that we know what a phoneme is, let's discuss some of the most common phoneme errors that English learners make. Remember, there's no shame in making errors. They're an essential part of the learning process. 1. Voiced and unvoiced sounds. This is a classic error where learners interchange sounds like B, voiced, and P, unvoiced. For instance, saying big when you mean pig. 2. Vowel length. Some learners struggle with short and long vowels. For example, mixing up ship and sheep. 3. TH sounds. English has two TH sounds, and both are notorious for causing problems. These are the voiced TH, as in this, and the unvoiced TH, as in think. Now that we're aware of some common errors, let's go through some effective accent reduction techniques. 1. Listen and imitate. Actively listen to native speakers and try to imitate their pronunciation. 2. Record yourself. This can be an eye-opening, or rather, ear-opening, experience. It lets you identify your phoneme errors. 3. Practice makes perfect. Regularly practice pronunciation exercises. Remember, it's a long-term commitment, not a one-time thing. And that wraps up our exploration of common phoneme errors and some accent reduction techniques. We hope that this video was enlightening, and remember, improving pronunciation is a journey, not a destination. Keep practicing and exploring the fascinating world of English phonemes. Keep talking, keep improving, and keep learning. Thanks for joining us today and see you in the next video.